Let's now consider another approach to reinforcement learning known as temporal difference learning or TD learning. So Monte Carlo learning then uh, actually needs a complete episode in order to update the value of the state. So what it does is you start off in a state, you go for a, a pseudo random walk, if you like, until you get to the goal state. And when you get to the goal state, you then know the gain that you've got from the start, right? Then you can, you can look all the way through the path and, and say, yes, I know what the gain is that I've got from that particular thing, so I can now update my value. So what temporal difference does is it doesn't need whole episodes. It can actually update on single steps um, towards, let's say, the goal, um, rather than actually having to get all the way there and then updating. So it, it can use incomplete parts of episodes in order to do this updating process. So it does so by, rather than um, waiting for the actual value of the, uh, uh, of the total gain, it has an estimate of the gain on each step. Um, and this process of using an estimate in order to update is known as bootstrapping. And it will generate a, an estimate um, for each state um, with every step it takes, so to speak, um, towards, and this will move the estimate towards a better estimate as well. It is another model-free approach, so it doesn't, again, need any knowledge of Markov decision processes um, or the transitions or their rewards in order to operate. Um, and it will basically um, generate steps by steps all the way through until um, the, the final um, goal is actually reached. So let's just think again about Monte Carlo. So this is using... Yeah, it's using the expectation of the actual final um, gain or reward that we're going to get, the future reward we're going to get from a given state. And we can run that using um, a running average as well. We don't need to necessarily have to calculate um, all the gains across all the episodes and then divide by the total number of episodes we had. We can actually do this as an online running average like we've seen before. So and the future updated version of the value um, at a particular state is the current value plus some learning rate multiplied by the total value at that particular episode to take away what we had up to that point um, for all the other episodes we've run. So it's, we can be run using this um, update form where we have here um, the GT represents the accumulated future reward um, that we actually get. In um, contrast, what temporal difference does, especially tem tem temporal difference zero, is it waits for a single step only. It doesn't need the entire episode to update. It can update at every single time it makes a step. And the way it does it um, is to, rather than have this, this um, future reward that we've actually got when we use Monte Carlo, that we actually know what it is because it's got all the way to the, to, to the, to, to the goal, so we know for that episode what this accumulated future reward GT was. What temporal difference does is it uses an estimate of what this value is. Right? So it's estimating it. Um, and it does the estimate on the basis of the immediate reward it got at the step and a prediction of the reward um, from the next state onwards all the way to the, um, to, to the goal, if you like. So it's broken it down in terms of what it actually knows it definitely gets, which is the you know, from a single step, which is actually the immediate reward for that step, and then a, predicting, a prediction of what it thinks um, the next step is, in, sorry, the next state is actually worth, and that's what this, why it's got this value here, right? So it's actually, it's using a prediction of what the thing it's got in, um, from the next step. So, this is the formula then that we have for this. We, we have the, um, the updated value of state ST under a certain policy, again, we always have to do it with respect to policy, is the current value, and then a learning rate multiplied by the immediate reward, plus what we predict um, for discounted reward coming, um, discounted total reward, which is the value of the next state that we end up in, take away the value of the current state we're in. So this is just the, this this business here is just the, the actual reward on the next step, and this is the predicted value discounted 
of being in the next state take away um, the value of the current state so it does this incremental um, empirical mean. So, <clears throat> because of this, um, we see that we, uh, <clears throat> we have a, an update which is basically just on the basis of another a single step, right? This is just a single step that we're actually making um, for, this, for this update. So if we actually look at that on terms of a backup diagram, we see what, what this is actually doing then is it's in a state S, T, let's say, um, and then we make a single step, right? So we make a single, we take a single action um, and we move to a single future state. We're not going all the way to the end, but on that single state, we get um, state transition. We go from state S to ST plus one, which is the next state. We get a reward for, for doing that, which is a local reward. And that's what this R plus one value is here. That's the actual value that we get from doing one transition from the state we're in to the next state. And then this, like I said, this term, this second part of the, of, of the term here is then basically the predicted value of the state that we get into, the, the S plus one. So it's the, this is the value of the next state that we had from before, uh, and we just discount it if we want to. So we're just adding up then um, the particular step that we got from this reward here with what we think we know is the value of this state S T plus one, right? And then again, this is just the, the term to make sure it, does, it actually does the, uh, the running average. So starting in state S, just a single step, um, and then we can already do the backup. That's the important thing. So it's just a very, very tiny um, use of the, uh, of the state space in order to do this update. Single sample we get, and importantly, we don't end up going all the way to the end, right? So it's not going all the way to the end of the episode like it would in Monte Carlo before we actually do this update. It's just taking a single step. So um, here is what the, the algorithm then would look like um, as written by um, Sutton and Barto. Right, we start off with our policy pi that we need to evaluate. Um, we're going to initialize our values to some values. They can always, you know, they could be something arbitra arbitrary, it could be zero. And then what we do is we're going to run this through mul multiple episodes as always. Um, but we're going to start off with a state, right, in each episode, and then now, in each step of the episode, we're going to do an update. So in, 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 in an episode, first of all, what we do is we get an action from the state under the policy. So we, we're in a state S. We use the policy to get an action A. Um, we take action A, and we see what the reward is and what the new state is. And then we update the value function um, as being what it was, um, plus... Um, a learning rate multiplied by the reward we actually just got on that particular transition from S to S prime. And then we add on, because basically what we want to do here for these two terms, R plus, plus gamma V S prime, is, is this is, you know, is basically that we want to know the, the gain at that particular point. And it's just made up in this case of the actual immediate reward that we definitely know we get. And then that our best estimate of the value of the next state, which is given by what we currently had for the value of that state, so the value of, of S prime. And of course, that we take away the other value uh, that we had previously in order to get this to work as a running average. And then we say, because we're, we're following a path, the, the state that we go into next in, in this, 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 this path that we're following in this episode is then this state that we moved into. And we just run around this um, for each step in the episode, and every time we go round it in the episode, we update, and then we update across until the, the episode runs basically until um, that's terminated, and then we run across multiple episodes. So TD, because it does more updating than uh, MC, um, it's got lower variance. It's not quite as noisy. It's got a bit of bias, but it's definitely more efficient than than Monte Carlo. Um, and it's it will converge to um, what you know what the value function of a state is. It is a bit more sensitive to initial values. Like Monte Carlo, then it's learning from experience. It's not using transition probability model or a MDP. 
um, like dynamic programming, it's updating um, on existed val on existing values. It's it's also a bootstrapping method, so it's doing a um, a single step update. Um, it only waits one step um, before we use um, updating. That's that's the good thing about it. Uses what the reward was at that particular step and what what the future state is. Um, yeah, and it updates basically at every step. It doesn't need to wait till we get to the goal. So that's the big difference between time, uh, different temporal difference, and um, using Monte Carlo.